एवरी वन माइन इज रोनक एंड दिस इज फ्लास्क वेब डेवलपमेंट इन डेप टूटोरियल्स दिस इज टूटोरियल नंबर फोर एंड इन दिस टूटोरियल आई वुड लाइक टू कवर सम ऑफ द प्रे रिक्वेजिट दैट यू विल बी लीडिंग फॉर द फ्लास्क डेवलपमेंट इन द लास्ट टूटोरियल आई सेट दैट आई वॉज गोइंग टू टीच यू दी एच टी एम एल ओके लाइक इट हाउ टू यूज दी एच टी एम एल इन द फ्लास्क द रेंडरिंग थिंग बट आफ्टरवर्ड्स वॉट आई थॉट दैट देर माइट बी सम ऑफ द अदर पर्सन आई डोंट नो ओके who is watching my tutorials and has a pretty fair experience with python but not with any other language okay so this might be actually you know difficult for him or her so on that note what i am uh, going to do is this will be a tutorial a short tutorial i would like to make in which i would like to cover the html that is the hypertext markup language and these are basics so if you uh, are uh, you know really good with the html you can just skip this tutorial okay so let's begin so html is the thing that the browser uh, reads very well okay this is a really cool stuff and you really need to have this in your arsenal if you want to you know get into the web development this is the starting step okay this is the actually starting step this is where it begins okay there is then html css javascript jquery so all of these things when you blend together you get a really good front end okay and the flask is associated with the back end so keep that in mind okay back end is where the server side uh, scripting is done okay where uh, logical and decisions are uh, made okay and in here the front end is the thing that you see over the web page okay so whenever you open a web page whatever you see and you interact with is the front end just keep that in mind so it begins with tags html okay and this is a simple notepad okay you can uh take any text editor you want so whatever your html code is going to be it is going to be placed within these tags okay this is html okay lesser uh, lesser than greater than uh, that is i don't know what these are called but just say html and end with the slash html just keep that in mind and then we have something known as head okay this is the head and then we have body so in body is where all of your code is going to go okay all the structure of your web page and head is where uh, you can give your title or uh, you can you know uh, link your javascript libraries or all that stuff that is a pretty much advanced stuff but just keep that in mind let's make a title okay that's first of all uh, let me just save this thing uh, let me save this on my desktop and all files i would say and let's say abc dot html okay just fine and it has been saved now if i click on this file abc.html this is blank okay because there is no code okay there is no code over here see if i view the source of the page there is no code there is nothing just keep that in mind now uh, what i will do is uh, see this was the structure okay so i would actually like to elevate a little bit so i will uh, just open the sublime sublime is uh, really cool okay sublime is really cool and uh, with sublime what you can see this on my python <laughs> okay so sublime is uh, actually cool so now let's open a folder and let's say desktop and select folder yeah you have it and this is my file where is my file yeah abc.html so this is pretty much it Sublime is really cool because it is going to you know indent everything and also give you the auto completion. Now let's try something. So let's say this is a web page. Why not? Okay. This is just the title. Now if we are about to run this thing, okay. If we run this, just open this, okay. And it says this is a web page here. See, this is the title. Now let's. Uh, Get our hands dirty. So now there is something known as header. Okay, just keep that in mind. So there is h1 till h6. Okay, keep that in mind. And whatever uh, text you type over here. So let's say hi. Even uh, over here hi. Let's save this. Okay, and uh, let's reload this. It says hi hi. So if you now keep going down till the h6. Okay, this is going to go. You know, small 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 small. 
and now if I view the source of my page see, you see all the code over here and uh, if you don't know how to view the source just pre uh, press ctrl u ok on any browser and yeah, this is fine now after a header there is uh, something uh, link ok a link let me just show you so just say this is known as anchor tag ok a and after a you have to say href so this is the referencing uh, link you want to so here we can say http let's say www.google.com so you can type any website you want okay so anything simply anything and let's just say link over here so now whenever you are going to click on this link the web page okay this link is going to open now if i control uh, r reload see link now let me just open this in the new tab this is my youtube channel okay so just subscribe and uh, okay this was the anchor tag now there is something known as p that is a paragraph and we can type anything over here let's say hi there python programmers okay and i want another sentence so let's just say Oops. The hell? Yeah. Let's say you are learning Flask. Let's reload this. See, this is the paragraph. Okay, the P tag. Now you might also run into a case where you want to, you know, there is no separation. Okay that might be actually uh, one of the issues just let me uh, show you and you can just uh, let me just copy this thing over here and paste it so now i want you are learning flask on the other line the tag is break okay br whenever you type br this thing is going to go down see so this is a really uh, great thing okay just keep that in mind and i am uh, actually i might not you know get much much deeper into the html okay i would like to just show you the things that are essential for the web development okay the flask okay i might actually make a complete in-depth uh, html5 and css3 tutorial ser series okay where you will learn the basic front-end development and i might also cover you know mean stack and javascript in the near future but for now just uh, keep that in mind so i am not actually going to you know cover the list and the uh, tables in this tutorial but i would like to show you some two uh, the two most important things which are the form okay form and class and id okay so so let me just uh, start with the form so uh, form is where you uh, you know it is just like the login form the registration form you have okay just like that form okay so we can actually create a form and if you say input okay inside the form uh, just keep that in mind you can just say text and uh, let's say name you can name it anything and let's say names and now let's just uh, rerun this see we have a text box over here where you can you know type so this is uh, where you type your uh, email ids and etc then you can say input okay and uh, you can say password over here and if you go over here and uh, in the name you can enter any name you want i want to just say pass i reload this now i have two boxes see this is the password okay so these are the login credential basics and uh, one more thing is input and if you say submit and let's say s why not just keep it as simple as it can be see submit so if you uh, you know with the server side scripting you can actually uh, you know create a validation so whenever you are submitting it is going to the server and it will be uh, checking for your credentials and if you are a verified user it is going to bypass the page see how great this is and this is the form and the last thing i would like to show you is class and id so class and id is uh, really important okay just keep that in mind so actually you won't be seeing anything over here the reason is uh, the oops yeah 
the class actually you know the binds uh, class is equal to a class is uh, you know you basically know if you have referred to my you know python tutorials class is something that holds everything and you can actually use the name so uh, now if you say hey so the hey is the name of my class and now you know i might not cover you know javascript and uh, css and everything but whenever you need anything from this web page you are going to use this uh, class name as the reference because see you might have uh, have a ample amount of p tags okay that is a case and you need a specific line which you want to you know color or highlight or do anything you want what you can do is you can just say class okay and with the class uh, you can just you know uh, uh, reference with the class name and use that particular line so that is a cool stuff and there is another thing known as id okay id and let's say hi the name of my id is hi so whenever now i want to call something from it i would just reference so in uh, languages the class is uh, referenced by the dot okay and uh, the id is referenced by the hash just keep that in mind i'm not diving deep into this but i just wanted to show you you know the basic of the html this is the basic okay this is the basic this is cool stuff it is just a simple code but remember it is a class and id just keep that in mind okay just keep that in mind this is the basic of the html and i definitely uh, assume that you might have got an idea because this is really simple okay this is really simple if, even if you you know uh, try this uh, the reality is that i learned html within one or two days okay so this is pretty much easy you can actually get your hands over it this is really cool because when i uh, when i actually started programming what i did was i started with java okay and then i wanted to learn php but my html basic was really you know stumbled so what i did was i just uh, you know found out that uh, in order to you know have a good foundation of the web development you need to have the html on the you know really greater level and that is actually really really essential somebody is at the door i'll be back it was my brother yeah so what i was saying was uh, i started to learn php and what i did was in one or two days i you know learned the html and css to a degree where i can you know understand these basics okay i actually learned it because i wanted to mold it into my php okay so you have to learn this if you are really you know interested in uh, having a great uh, career in the web development just keep that in mind so this concludes my tutorial thank you for watching goodbye